Hey, Josh here from RVs of America. Excited to introduce to you the newest member of our off-road lineup, the XOC from Vorshear. We're really excited. This is built 100% in the United States and actually here in the beautiful state of Utah. Check it out. Now this unit weighs roughly around 2,600 pounds and that's largely gonna depend on the modifications and the upgrades that you do on this trailer. Obviously with the rooftop tent on there, it's gonna weigh more than it would without it. And on the other side where we have a propane, you can have a 20 pound propane tank or a 40 pound propane tank. And those are gonna vary obviously in the weight on the trailer. So roughly we're around 2600 pounds but that's going to again vary based on the modifications you've done the the unit has a 30 gallon water tank that's an aluminum tank it's mounted in the underbelly of the trailer and the tongue weight is again based on the weight of the trailer it's going to vary somewhere between 150 to 200 pounds for the tongue weight of this trailer your cargo capacity is around a thousand pounds. And the last thing is that the width of this trailer is about seven feet, four inches. And that's your widest point is gonna be here on the fenders of the trailer. So that's our, our specs. Starting at the front of the trailer, I wanna talk about uh, the storage and the battery compartment. Uh, this particular model, we have uh, two of the 80 amp hour marine gate grade batteries the uh, charger and the 2000 watt inverter that come with this particular battery setup. Here we have a ZAMP solar setup. So it's gonna work directly with any ZAMP, so ZAMP solar panels that you have. And if you don't have ZAMP, you just have to get a fitting that will uh, work with that particular connection. We have storage in the top that can be accessed through this compartment. And then we have storage in this pass-through area right here. You can see we've still got quite a bit of room in there. This is great for your storage needs. Here, as we go into the top storage portion, you can see that it's actually mounted on two gas struts here that will assist you in opening it. You can have a look and see what kind of space you have here as well. Lots of storage with this unit. And all of the compartments are lockable. The battery and both of the storage compartments. Everything is lockable. One other thing I want to point out here are these latches that they have. These are very, very nice. Uh, really thick, all metal. There's nothing cheap about it. You can see this is, um, it's just, it's not a cheap latch. You're not going to be able to get this for one or two bucks. You're probably going to be anywhere from, you know, 10 to 20 bucks for each of these latches. So just another great benefit of Made in the USA. They're using high quality products in the construction of this trailer. Here we have these running boards. These are aluminum uh, diamond plated running boards here that we have that's on top of our frame. One thing that's also nice you can see in the design of their trailer, they're using these laser cut steel uh, for their uh, logos so it's going to last forever it's not a a vinyl sticker that's on your trailer that's going to fade or peel off over time this is laser cut steel just another awesome part of a company that's investing in their trailer making sure it looks good for a really long time this here is our safari ladder now this is going to be more useful when we don't have a rooftop tent but this comes stock with every single trailer giving you access to the rooftop storage area now again this is when we set up our tent this is not really relevant this is going to be more more useful when you don't have the rooftop tent here on the top of the trailer 
This is an option. This does not come stock with the trailers. This is your jerry can holders. Here I can get extra fuel for your tow vehicle or extra water. Again, the trailer comes with a 30 gallon tank. If that is insufficient or you're going to be off grid for an extended period of time and you want to increase your water capacity, you can fill up two jerry cans in this. This is quite a bit of storage here. Two jerry cans to extend your stay, giving you more water. A couple of other things I want to point out on the side of this trailer here. So this right here, we'll actually show you a little bit more as we go inside. This is actually a wee pole for the air conditioning unit that's mounted inside. The air conditioning unit is optional, but when you have one, the uh, condensation and moisture that has a, uh, an exit here on the outside of the trailer. Uh, we have lights on each of the doors here. These are controlled on a control panel inside, which we'll show you guys more later. And this right here is actually really cool. When we lift up this back door to access our outdoor kitchen, if there's a bunch of water that runs down, they actually have a gutter system that's gonna direct all of the water out to the outside of your trailer. They have a, a tray underneath when you lift this up that catches all the water and sends it to the outside. Really cool engineering on this trailer. One of the things that's really, really cool about this trailer are actually these stabilizers and levelers that they've posted on each side of the rear end of the trailer. These are really cool because there's no folding involved. They just go straight up. And because of where they're mounted, you can just take it all the way up and it's not going to affect your clearance. These are designed, they have enough strength that they can actually lift the trailer. These are not going to fall apart when you're taking the weight of the trailer on. So you can use these for leveling, you can use them for stabilizing, you can use it if, I don't know, you needed to change the tire. Um, there's a lot of uses for these. They're just, they're, they're very thoughtfully placed and the way that they're mounted, it's, it's really, really nice for this trailer. So when you get to leveling this trailer, it's gonna be done in two places, in the front and also with your rear two stabilizers slash levelers. As we're moving to the back of the trailer, I wanna point out some cool things here. On each side of the tire, they actually have these mounted, uh, I guess, racks that you can utilize. They have holes in it so you can mount roto packs, you can use braces and, and other mounting gear to, to mount shovels, axes, any other tools that you want or other things for storage and you have them on each side of the tire. Really cool for utilizing your, your storage and, and the things that you can take with you on your trip. Here on the top, uh, you have a whole system here for mounting things. It's got tons of holes, whether you want to use bungee cords or other things that you have a lot of different options. Some people are mounting their max tracks up there. Uh, you've got lots of options. So that's another really cool place that you can mount things on your trailer when you're going overlanding. Now underneath the trailer, this is really cool. You actually have a hitch that you can use for taking your bikes or other gear and it will actually, when you're ready to use the kitchen, it will move out with the trailer or with the swing arm, which is actually rated, I believe, for 2,000 pounds. Down here, we have uh, recovery rings. We also have a set of two in the front as well. All right, now as we're moving to the driver's side of the trailer, I wanna point out some cool things on this side. Number one is your propane tank. One of the things that's really cool about this, this is a 20 pound tank. You can upgrade this to a 30 or even a 40 pound tank. They fit all of them in this spot. So no need to worry about how much propane you can take. You can take as much as you want. Lots and lots of storage capability there. This here is the access for your tankless water heater. It's a continuous hot water heater. EcoTemp is the name of the company. They make a great product and it has extremely responsive. Uh, the ability to get the hot water is almost instantaneous. So it works really, really well. Here is our shower. Now, one of the things that I would probably get if I'm getting this, I'm actually gonna get the enclosure for the shower. I would use that twofold. I would use it not only for an enclosure for your shower, but I would also use it as a bathroom. So that's gonna be the way you can get both a bathroom, uh, both a shower 
and a toilet with this unit is just getting an enclosure for your shower so you can utilize both off-grid. So this is really simple, setting this up. This just comes up here. This just goes in and you turn it. This is your hot water heater and your shower setup. I like, I like putting away the shower, like the ones we have on the other trailers. The space is so limited that it's like setting up a puzzle to try and put it away. I can just shove it in there, close this up and we're good to go. So that's really nice. So here we have, this is our gravity fill or our, our general water tank fill. We have again, 30 gallons of capacity on the aluminum tank that's mounted underneath the trailer. Now this unit, it's not mounted here, but this is usually where our awning is. These units, you can get the 230, 180 degree awning, or you can upgrade it to a 270 degree awning. I wanted to show you the other side of the pass through. There is tons of room in here. And again, these are all lockable compartments, so you can stick valuables in there, your generators or a safe, you know, whatever. There's, there's tons of room and it's all lockable here. Over here, this is actually our shore power connection. It's got a 120 volt connection set up for your shore power. As we are getting ready to go inside of the cabin, one of the options you have with the trailer are these steps that you can get and they can be mounted on each of the entryways. They just go underneath here. There's a bar that fits in this right here. Just put it on. Oh. And now when we go inside, we've got a step that gives us, so we don't have to step so high to get inside the trailer. All right, this is one of my favorite parts of the trailer. I am not a huge fan of a ton of effort when you get to your destination to taking a ton of time to try and set up where you're gonna be sleeping. So that's one of the really nice parts of the XOC is that we have an already set up sleeping area. So this is a uh, true queen. It's measurements that we have is 59 inches by about 79. Uh, a true queen is, is actually 60 by 80, but it's gonna give you a lot of flexibility when picking the mattress that you'd like to have in here. Really, the best thing that you can do when picking out your mattress is to go and measure it. And if it's off by a little bit, you should be able to squeeze it in here. So really, really cool that you can customize this space and get the mattress that you really, really want to sleep in for all of your off-road adventures. So on this AC unit, which is a 5,000 BTU unit, you can, this is an optional thing. You don't have to have this if you'd like, that can be a storage area, but it will remain wired. So if you want to put your own AC unit, that is an option that's available to you. In the back behind the kitchen, right here you have your, uh, you have your control panel for your heater and a fan. It's a 6200 BTU heater. It's called Propex is the name of the heater. In here, this is our control panel. This allows, this is the voltmeter, allows you to see your battery. This will turn on the stereo for you. We did pick up the stereo package option for this particular unit. So we have Pioneer speakers both inside the cabin and also in the outdoor kitchen, which is really nice. Here on each side of the bed, you can control lighting. The porch light is outside of the door and the cabin light is above your side of the bed. And you can control that on each side. Inside, we have a USB connection for charging your phone. And here is a table that you can use to set up an iPad, a laptop, or something if you wanted to work or if you wanted to watch a show at night when you guys are off grid. Again, all of the wood inside is a birch plywood, which is a, an expensive hardwood. And the latches inside of the unit are all locking because this is an off-road trailer and we won't accept any less. And lots of storage you can see inside this trailer and you'll have the same on the other side. Now, 
On the top here, we have a fantastic fan from Dometic. It's got three different settings and you can pull air in and you can pull air out. Now, for one of my favorite parts of this trailer, we are gonna get into the outdoor kitchen. Check this out. In the outdoor kitchen, it comes with a 65 liter dual zone fridge. So you can use one as a freezer, one as a fridge, or both as a freezer, both as a fridge. You have that option. Really, really nice fridge here. This is a spice rack that you can utilize here for your outdoor kitchen. Here inside, we have tons of storage. We can open up this side as well, so you can get an idea of how much storage we have. Then obviously you have both of the drawers. And as I mentioned before, we have speakers and lights on the exterior. As we go to set up our outdoor kitchen, Now, one of the things that's nice about this is that this stove top can be reoriented. This is a full metal uh, stove top here. It actually comes out of Pocatello, Idaho, and it is awesome. Super thick grates and the propane, the hookup that they have that connects with it, they say it's extremely hard to blow out from errant wind that you're not anticipating these suckers will blow through it all. You've got your wind guards here that will set up on the side. Just a really, really nice stove top for you. And here we have our sink. We have our pump once we've got our water full and we have hot and cold water in our outdoor kitchen, which is really, really nice. We have their lights here for our, our ceiling there. And then we have another USB hookup on the outside. And then underneath, so we have a little bit of storage right here. And then we also have a little bit more storage right here for silverware, spatulas, whatever. One of the things that's really, really nice for your outdoor kitchen, this is an option. It doesn't come stock on the, on the unit, but it is an option that's available is the, um, is the swing arm mounted table which is really, really nice, is another table area for food prep. I love this. This is one of my favorite parts of the outdoor kitchen is this uh, table that, that's attached to the swing arm. And if I needed to make more space, I have it in a little bit, but I can swing this out by just coming over here. We can take it out a little bit more, giving me a little bit more space if there's multiple people working in the kitchen here so it's not right in our way. Once I have this extended all the way, I can have the fridge out, I can have the kitchen out, and I still like, I feel like I have enough room to work with all three of them. At the conclusion of our walkthrough that we've just done today, I wanna to point out something that I think is really important. We are at the top of a mountain um, here in Utah, and this scenery is breathtaking. And I want you to see this, I want you to see this, see where we are. At Arby's of America, we have off-road trailers. And the reason why is for this, where we are and the places that you can go, the things that you can do, you just can't do with regular trailers. And, and I just want people to see this and to be able to envision themselves in this area. everybody, thank you so much for watching the Vorshear XOC tour. I hope that you enjoyed it. We hope to see you on the trails or visiting us here at the facility. Make sure to subscribe so you can see all of the new videos and trailers we have coming in the future and all the info on Vorshear. And make sure to hit that sub bell so you can get notified 
when we have the new videos coming out. Thank you so much. Thank you.